Good afternoon, my friend. Uh, good afternoon, uh, probably good evening. Yes. As you can see, it's been a long day. I have been on a yoga mat at 6 a.m. I haven't stopped since, so uh, now it's an opportunity. That's what we do for health. My name is Dr. Sveta Silverman, and a lot of you know me. If you don't know me, <clears throat> I live in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and by a profession, I diagnose cancers. So I tell people I'm the doctor you don't want to know. So that's why I have a massive passion for health. But I have a passion for proactive health. How do we improve uh, being a cell doctor? How do we improve and sustain our health and our cells, especially now? Today is my absolute distinct a uh, pleasure to have a guest of the presentation, amazing Dr. Deborah Viglion. Uh, let me introduce Dr. Viglion, who is also in a uh, life vantage for a few, for few years like I am. So uh, Dr. Viglion lives in Florida and practices anti-aging, regenerative, and functional medicine. So Dr. Dr. Viglion is a hero of United States of America. Not only that, she's an MD graduated from uh, North Carolina, uh, um, completing a residency and I would say a fellowship in internal medicine, but then sub-specializing in anti-aging, regenerative medicine, in functional medicine. Dr. Viglion is a veteran of um, Gulf, War II, Gulf War I, so that's why she's a hero. She is a wife, she is a mother of four, and uh, she is a sports and exerciser, avid promoter and doer. She skis and she, uh, she water skis, She's absolutely amazing. And today we are going to talk about Life Vantage products from a perspective of health and from a perspective of medical doctors. So the thing is, we're not going to talk about treating a mitigating disease. We're going to talk about how to improve our health and how to improve cellular health. What I didn't tell you about Dr. Viglion that in the last two plus years, she is on the trenches. She established a MASH unit to treat COVID, uh, obviously different variants of uh, COVID disease. So she is a he hero. She, is, uh, she has been a member of uh, Life Vantage Medical Advisory Board. So she is an absolutely well-versed in uh, anti-aging medicine, cellular health, and as you can, as you will hear, um, mitochondrial health, NRF to activation, and more and more and more. Uh, Deb, where are you? I'm in Gulf Breeze, Florida, in my office. There I didn't put go. up a virtual screen, but I, I like to have the beach. But I thought y'all might want to see my messy office. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, please don't annoy me with uh, with the ocean and a beach because uh, for you Americans, you don't understand in Celsius. But we're between minus twenty and minus twenty six Celsius, so yeah, that's no, pretty. Kidding. That's pretty cold. Oh, so yeah, in yeah, any case, uh, Doctor Viglion, and I will be call you Deb or Deborah because that's what it is. It is my unique and distinct pleasure to welcome you. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Uh, you know, you. Uh, let me ask you a question. There you go. And I really you. don't want to share the screen because I want people to see your face okay. and to hear you speak. What is it about you who is an anti-aging physician, regenerative medicine and functional medicine physician, who is so much, uh, so versed in pharma pharma pharmacology, pharmacy, and whole bunch of supplements and activators. Why is it, what is it for you 
about NRF2 activation, NRF2 per tandem, and what is it exactly? Okay, well, let's see, I was probably doing anti-aging, you know, supplements, wellness for probably 10 years or so before I was introduced to Life Vantage. And actually it was different than most people. I was at the big, big convention we have worldwide. It's in Las Vegas every year. And our chief science officer at the time actually gave a lecture and showed ProTandem and showed the initial studies on ProTandem. At the time we had 11 peer reviewed studies. And the thing that they kept emphasizing was that we reduce oxidative stress 40% in 30 days. I about fell out of my chair because I had been in the anti-aging business for several years and it's all about oxidative stress. All aging and disease has its roots there. Let me interrupt you for a second. What is oxidative stress? Okay, so basically it's junk in your body, but it's free radical damage. And Oh shoot, I don't think you had the thing. The free radical is an unstable cell basically that's looking for an electron. So it steals it from another cell and damages that cell. And then it just goes on and on and on. So as you get older, you build up with that, with more and more things, because you can see there's so many things that cause it, you know, pesticides, uh, not lack of sleep, stress, cigarette smoke, and just on and on. All these things cause free radical damage and build up of inflammation in your body which damages the cells further and that's how you age and ultimately how you get really all the diseases because it can cause dna damage that then causes cancer transformation so you don't want excess of oxidative stress and up until that point Sveta, we've been trying to combat it with supplements you know vitamins antioxidants i'd send people out of my clinic with 40 sometimes 50 supplements trying to help them and when I saw what Protanum was clinically proven to do, I was on board instantly. I, I knew I, that this was what I'd been looking for. This is amazing. Thank you very much. So let me pinch in as per se from a cellular perspective. So uh, obviously, guys, cells, oxidative stress, as Dr. Biglione said, it is an accumulation of cell, simply put, an <clears throat> accumulation of cellular garbage. Mm -hmm. So that garbage needs to be cleaned up so that NRF2 is a sensor of that cellular garbage that is going to turn on the cleaning machines, the cleaning apparatus, the little vacuum cleaners. The interesting thing about NRF2 and why is it a must, a healthy dose of healthy activation, healthy activation of NRF2 is so important because without that healthy activation of NRF2, even when the cell is cleaning the garbage, it's not removing those garbage bags from the cells. So those garbage bags are sitting, they are sitting in special containers, but they're not removed from the cell. With NRF2 activation, there is a cellular capability of cleansing the cells, removing that cellular garbage. And that is why it is so critically important to keep that NRF2 activation so healthy at the, at the healthy doses. Now, what we also know that with aging and different diseases, that activation slows down or fails. And that's what we need to keep up. Now, the interesting thing is I men me mentioned to you that Dr. Viglion is on trenches with active COVID. We need to be proactive. We're not telling you that Pratanam is going to treat cure and mitigate disease, treat, no. But what we're going to tell you is, you know, when you activate your NRF2 via Pratanam, which you're going to activate and upregulate cellular defense apparatus. And that's exactly what you need. So Dr. Viglion, you know, obviously on trenches with NRF2 activation and per se in that COVID, how do you see that activation? Did you see it in works and stuff? And do you teach your patients? 
Absolutely. I teach all of my patients about it at one point or another. But it was interesting because I happened to be one of the first people in the United States to actually get COVID because one of my patients gave it to me after traveling in China. And I was upset at first because I thought I got this and I'm activated. But now after treating hundreds of people with COVID, I realized I had a very mild case. You know, I and dealt very with very robust immune system. Very robust immune system. Yes. And that's, and that's, so, key. that's exactly what, 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 this is another point. Absolutely. So critically important again, to be proactive. Right. So, and every cell contains that NRF2 activation, including immune cells. Sorry, go ahead. Right. Well, the other thing is we established early on, well, after I knew that I had it and we started experimenting with intravenous vitamin C in high doses, and then we followed that with ozonated saline. And that's when the miracle started happening. And at that point, everybody was in lockdown and I realized we had a solution to help people through this illness. And so we opened up our MASH unit as you talked about. But one of the, an article came out about that time about ozone and its use with this virus, and it talked about NRF2 activation as the primary mechanism that ozone was using to help again, with it. So she uses ozone for therapy, guys, again and again yeah. and again. NRF2 yeah. protanum is not designated to treat and mitigate yeah, disease. That one is to build up your immune system. When exactly. you do the ozone, you're doing a more of a pharmacological dose. But that's, you know, NRF2 activation is huge. And because that virus is not killing you um, because it's a virus. We were talking about that. It's killing you because of the excess um, free radicals, the garbage that builds up primarily in your lungs. Which, we, which leads me, you remember, we discussed something before mm -hmm. the presentation about right. virus and virus sitting in the cells and being completely inactive because there is a master antioxidant that NRF2 sensor, NRF2 turns on the gene of master antioxidant, which is called glutathione. So we need to, so that virus that sits in us, it sits in the envelope. And glutathione, when it is produced by the cells, the cells need to be healthy to make a healthy dose of glutathione needs to be upregulated. Yes, NRF2 turns glutathione. So mm -hmm. when glutathione is turned on and activated, it holds this virus in its envelope and doesn't allow it to flourish. Now, another thing is what Dr. Viglione is going to teach us is going to be, I specifically switch from present from presentation to a live because I want you to see actually her uh, uh, talk. We're going to talk about mitochondria and the synergy between NRF to activation and mitochondria. So Dr. Viglion, can you please teach us something about mitochondria and the NRF1 protandum? Okay, so the mitochondria are the energy powerhouses of all your cells. They all have them except for red blood cells. So that's how you make the energy in the body to do everything the body needs to do. But we were talking about garbage and we were talking about garbage sacks in the cell. You have to have energy to think about yourself. You bag up your garbage, you take it to your garbage can, you have to take the garbage can to the curb and a truck has to come get it. That all takes energy. And so as we get older, our mitochondria decline primarily because of oxidative stress is killing them off. So when we activate our mitochondria with the NRF1, we build more, we make more energy. So we have the energy to remove those garbage sacks from the cell and eliminate them you know, through your urine, your feces. It's, in, it's incredible how, you know, how true what you just said. There is a thing about that mitochondria. So we need energy. If mitochondria is, is, is not working, the cell is not going to exist. The cell is going to cease. So mitochondria literally needs, literally gives us energy. But as giving us energy, as Dr. Viglion said, it's going to accumulate that garbage. 
So it's like the more the mitochondria works, the more byproducts it's going to produce. The more byproducts it's going to produce, the more of the NRF2 activation those mitochondria require. And mind you, that mitochondria contains its own glutathione to remove that garbage. So for us to function properly and age very gracefully, we need a lot of sustained and sustainable mitochondria. So we do have an amazing combination. The combo on this NRF in this NRF1 protandum, as you see, is absolutely awesome. But again and again and again, we encourage you the synergy of NRF2 yeah, right. and NRF1. But then let's get to the favorite topic of Dr. Viglion, which is this, because Dr. Viglion, as far as I know, loves the NAD. Why? Because it makes my brain work. <laughs> it gives me energy. But yet when you were talking about the NRF1 and 2, those pathways have to have each other to work. They can't exist without each other. And mitochondria can't live without NRF2. But the mitochondria, if you look in the diagrams of how it works, NAD is like the fuel that starts the whole process in the mitochondria to make energy. And you would literally die within seconds without NAD. Well, this virus we were talking about depletes the body of NAD. These people that are in prolonged hospitalization, they have they've depleted their NAD and some have postulated that that ultimately is what causes some of them to die because they're not making that NAD anymore. So when all these things are, you can see that they're integrally associated. So the NAD to me is just basically turns that, that mitochondria on, but in doing so, it turns on these longevity genes called sirtuins. And since I'm about anti-aging, I'm about living longer and healthier. So I wanna turn those genes on. So talk to us about sirtuins a little bit. What are they? Well, it's kind of complicated, but they're genes in our body that help with longevity. Um, when you're, a lot of people are into fasting, intermittent fasting, that's designed to turn them on. Um, there's about six of them, but most is known about sirtuin one. And that's about as far as I know, I just know they make you live longer. <laughs> oh, that's okay. awesome. So, so this, this awesome. So here comes the cellular doctor. So yeah, the, interesting, the interesting thing, well, sirtuins, as Dr. Viglion said, they are, there's like a group of them. There's like, you know, six or seven or something. And each, each and every one of them has their function. Some of them have their functions in the mitochondria. However, some of them are very important for our DNA. Mm -hmm. And why are they so important for our DNA? Because guess, guys, if the cells get stressed, if we get stressed, well, guess what? Our DNA also gets stressed and our DNA gets tired. And the, the, the functional DNA is tight. It's working, it's tight. So in order for DNA to start relaxing, sirtuins come on board. So sirtuins are the genes, are, um, are enzymes of relaxation of our DNA, extremely important. Extremely important. Now, we don't it's a, any damage because that leads to cancer. Uh, well, we it's, it's just see that's a whole thing, you know. We kind of uh, we combine like you know why do we get per se why do we get diseases? Some call it uh, 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 like you know the disease trifecta or infinite uh, responses, which consist of three things, and we discussed it. It's oxidative stress chronic inflammation and the immune response. And that's what we need to be proactive, not to let the cell get into. Mm -hmm. And we have all the methods and modes and mechanisms. Yes, guys, you need to relax. Yes, you need to sleep. Yes, you, you need to have your circadian rhythm. Yes, you need to eat right. To sustain your mitochondria, you know, you need to eat right. To sustain your mitochondria, you need to exercise. There are no ways around it. You need to stay hydrated. You need to, uh, um, and then you need to start taking care of yourselves with activation, upregulation, and supplementation. 
And that's exactly what we do. We just taught you the trifecta of a cellular upregulation, which includes, sorry, I'm jumping on, but that's just what it is. So please forgive me. It's a very unconventional presentation, but that's what we were talking about. We were talking about trifecta of NRF1 pretandum, NRF2 pretandum, and NAD pretandum. It's the foundation of cellular health, NRF2 pretandum. It's going to upregulation the foundation of mitochondrial health, which is going to be NRF1 pretandum, which is going to be um, uh, accentuated and enforced by NAD pretandum, which is going to upregulate mitochondrial pathways and also some of our genes. This you know, is not. I tell my patients, I explain the NRF1 and 2, and then I just tell them the NAD supersizes it, like going to McDonald's. Uh, please don't go to, sorry, guys, please don't. No, go no, to but I'm like, you know, the super <laughs> I said it but, supersizes it. You know, it makes no. the gene activation more. Now, another thing that, you know, when we're not exactly talking much about it, but when we are, first of all, you know, and I'm not going to go deep, but I cannot uh, emphasize more than the importance of fish oils or essential fatty acids. Why? Well, we already told you that NRF2 activation allows the garbage to get out of the cell and outside. But in order for that garbage to get outside the cell, it needs to go through the channels in the cell membranes. There are gates. That's how the things come in and there are things that, that get out. So if those gates are not working properly, so the cell will never get healthy. And those gates are not only controlled, but you know, the cell membrane is built of different components, essential fatty acids. Where do you get them? You get them from fish oils. So you, if, you, if you're not familiar with omegas, please familiarize yourself with omegas. That's one thing. Another thing is, we keep talking to you about the immune system boost. Well, guess where you need to start looking at? You need to start looking into the gut and the microgut. So now I'm just going to open just one more slide. Fed, I wanted to say a little something about our fish oil. It is so please pure. go. You yeah, you have the personal. It. You have a personal experience. You go, please. You sure. have to. You have to make sure you have pure fish oil because fish eat mercury and accumulate. So you have to know the quality. You have to know that it's not oxidized or um, kind of rancid. And ours is very pure. You can trace it to the boat. What was the thing you were talking about, the index today? There is an, uh, th there is an index. It is called, um, well, this is an index that uh, checks for the level of free radicals or a free radical oxidation index. And this is the indication how good the uh, different fish oils are. So I think the, uh, the, for the, the norm for the good uh, fish oils, the index is two and ours is like 0 0.1 or something like that. So it took me a long time to get it. Yes, Stephen, it is, we have a very high quality fish oils. The, the and I think it's more, more potent, Sveta, because the doses of the other fish oils, you have to go so high. And from what I've seen clinically, ours is more powerful than, you know, three or four times the doses in other people's fish oil. And the other thing that I didn't like at first is I had been taught to go higher with the EPA than the DHA. But now I'm flip-flopping because the more I learn about the brain, the more important DHA is. And the brain runs the body. And so that is so important. And I had switched um, from the guidance of several people to try EPA strong fish oil. And my vision took a tank in two or three months off of our fish oil. And I've gotten back on it and it's, it's getting better. But I realized then your eyes are part of your brain. Our fish oil is amazing. See, the doctor re just realized after all this, all the training and stuff that the eyes are a part of the brain. There you go. 
But she's absolutely right that DHA is extremely important for brain health. There is no ifs, buts, and maybes. Uh, and then again, we're talking about synergy. There is a very big synergy between DHA and, and RF2. And I will be, I will be actually uh, introducing one of the leaders in that area for uh, additional uh, Zoom or webinar. Now, I told you that we're not going to stop without not talking to you about our gut and about our micro gut. Our micro gut takes care of our immune system between 70 and 80%. But, so, but how does it do that? It does it through activation of the gut. So you need both the gut and the micro gut healthy. Your gut obviously is never going to be healthy if you're not eating right, but you need your NRF2 activation and mitochondrial boost first to clean the gut and start boosting your micro gut. So it start not only boosting your immune system, but micro gut also controls your brain. Over 90% of serotonin, our calming neurotransmitter is made in the micro gut, well, in the gut actually, via micro gut, and then transported through some very tiny nerve or the biggest nerve in the body, which is called vagus, into the brain. Now, guys, I'm sure you had dinner, I had dinner, a beautiful plate of veggies and nuts supported by uh, a dark chocolate. But what happened is, <laughs> yes, Mimi. So what happened is that the bugs, they also want to eat. So, and that's why per se, see, I just fed my micro gut. So now the feed for the micro gut is the prebiotic. And how many of us are actually supporting our micro gut enough? So sometimes to me, it's like, of course I'm accentuating uh, probiotics, but sometimes I'm thinking, is prebiotic even more important than probiotic? It's an absolute must. It's enough. Don't you agree, Dr. Viglion? Yes, yes. They're actually getting more away from saying, if you only could pick one, you're gonna take the prebiotic because you've got to feed your bacteria. That's awesome. So now guys, we're just about to finish because there is another, so now another presentation. So the important thing is that I wanted to ask Dr. Biglion, who has absolutely flourishing practice, excruciatingly busy. I, you know, I witnessed that today when she designated me like I think 15 minutes between the call and the lunch and whatever. So uh, why are you doing this type of a business? Ben well, Hancock. we always talk about whys and your why changes. Now, when I first got involved in the business, I was going, or I'd just been through a very rough divorce and I was in incredible amount of debt and my practice was very busy, but I had an office manager that wasn't so good in taking in the money. So I was really in financial distress. And when I started having people sign up with this company to take the product and to be distributors. And I started seeing checks come in every week. It actually saved my practice financially, Sveta. I was in really dire straits. So that's how I saw personally how the business worked. But at this point, I realized you need multiple streams of income. I need something to bank on when, you know, retirement, because, you know, the stock market is volatile. You never know what's going to happen you know, with banks or savings or anything. So it's another stream of income. And so I'm banking on that as one of, you know, my retirement. I don't think I'll ever retire, but I do like traveling. You've seen me on the ski Oh, slope. I see you being yeah. exactly. You're gonna have some extra money. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that's, that, it, so you just, you just pinned it as to the why changes, but you know, this, this type of a business in your case absolutely allows you your freedom of life. Yes. Well, per se, in my case, this type of a business, my credo, my passion is to teach health. This allows me to teach health. But on the way of teaching health, and yes, but I teach more products than per se than the business opportunity. But I what it gave me, but what it gave me, it gave me my team. 
who mm -hmm. perceives building business, not for me, but with me. Right. Because some of us are more pro-health because health is a must for everyone. But some of us have a business, business and entrepreneurial mind. And this type of a business, when it's done right, attracts the good people. And right. this, is, this, is, this is what I gain on my team. And, and you know, I gain friends. And those yes. friends are not my team. Like, you're not my team. You're not no. my sideline, pro, whatever line. You're my friend. You're my colleague. You're my friend. How many of you who now, you know, there are so many on this call who are my friends. And they're not my teammates, but they are my teammates. Right, right. Beth? You're my it's teammates. A family. It's a so family. It's a, it is, it is a, it, 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 when it's done right. It is right. I, I've met my best friends now through this company. Same thing. Same thing. So, so guys, you know, I really wanted uh, uh, to cut it uh, 30 minutes because at 730, if you do want now to hear about business, business opportunity, there is another presentation. However, first of all, I would like to thank Dr. Viglion for the kindness of her heart, kindness of her time and her knowledge and her passion, and we're not done yet. Second of all, I would like to thank every one of you, and there were over, over 40 people on this mm -hmm. presentation. So thank you so much. Now, uh, I'm going to stop recording.